There you go. So you were talking about <laughs> Starship Troopers bad acting. <laughs> but what was it you did like about it? Because that's like literally one of my favorite movies. Uh, well, I like the recruit, the, when they do the training parts. Oh, like the whole boot camp scene? Yeah, because I just found that funny. Because of the boobs? Not the bo boobs aren't funny. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> uh, like when he puts the knife through dude's hand. Yeah, Jake, Bu Jake Busey's hand. <laughs> yeah, he starts saying, get your <laughs> hand up on that wall. I love that shit. And he starts saying, the enemy cannot press a button to shoot a nuke if, the enemy, if you disable the enemy's hand. <laughs> and then he goes, medic, and it moves on to the next I scene. I love that. They don't show like a whole lot of uh, like sci-fi medical stuff. Yeah. But what they do show, I always thought it was cool. Like, uh, like he breaks that farm boy's hand. Yeah, and it has that cast. Yeah, like later on in the day, he's using it just fine. It's in a cast, but he's still able to carry his train. Yeah, it stuff. has some type of weird liquid in it. Yeah. And I feel. I was like, I feel like that's like morphine or something. It's probably like, uh, well, because uh, Rico ended up in some liquid. Yeah. After he got ripped up. And so I always sort of uh, put that with like um, like the back the tanks in Star oh, Wars, yeah. like what Luke was in. Yeah. But I I mean in Star Wars they you know it's Bacta, <laughs> which is like it's like a healing bacteria or something. Yeah. In this they don't say nothing. <laughs> They're just like, yep, here's this. He's all better now. And it has some type of laser fixing up his leg. Yeah, like stitching the uh, meat together. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how he survived his encounter I like never understood it, it launched at him and then it went black screen i'm like how and, did he survive and all it shows is the hole in his leg <laughs> no i completely agree <laughs> it doesn't do a whole it doesn't do a great explanation of what the hell happened sometimes and you're just supposed to have fun and go along <laughs> with it i assume i do like when rico hops on top of that big beetle yeah. And he starts just shooting down, like, the whole time I'm thinking, like, I'd be freaking out, like, oh, this is so stupid. I always had a, a, a minor problem with that scene, and it was like, it was just my OCD or whatever. Yeah. And it's when he goes to fall, he does the, like, cowboy rain or whatever, yeah. but he's just grabbing onto this chunk of shell that he's blasted out of it. <laughs> And I was always like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't grab that shit. <laughs> That's I'm, a hole. I'm confused on the ranks, too. Like, Zim goes from drill sergeant to private. Well, because he, uh, he got demoted when he ripped up Rico's uh, letter. Because Rico was like, sir, I can't leave now. Like, my whole family was just destroyed. Oh. And then he's like, is that your signature soldier or whatever? And he's like, yes, sir, it is. And he goes, doesn't look like it to me. And he rips it up. And he got demoted for that, I'm assuming. Oh. Or they didn't let him get demoted. And he went and did something else. Because he really, at that point, he was like, I want to go. I got to fight. And they're yeah. like, you don't get to fight. You're a drill instructor. We need you here. I always thought it was funny that at the, like you don't see Zim the whole time. Yeah. Like Once they leave. And then all of a sudden they're like, Zim, Zim got the bug, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused on the telepathic too. They don't explain it at all. They mention it like twice. So they do get into that a little further if you watch the other <laughs> Starship Troopers, which I wouldn't recommend all of them. I've told you that the second one was awful. Yeah. The third one I think should have been better because it's like Rico. He almost looks like Snake from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> But he's like, uh, now they wear like mech suits. And then there's like a CGI one that doesn't have anything to do with it. And then there's a CGI one with Rico. Yeah. And that's really where they do more. Well, I think that's where they do more yeah. of the telekinesis. But yeah, it's like there's a whole slew of humans, Neil Patrick Harris, that like are telepathic. It's like a, it's like human evolution. I think is the way they describe it. Yeah. It's like humans are evolving and now they're becoming telepathic. <laughs> I know. Uh, the, well, the three people that makes you think are the main characters, which is uh, uh, no Patrick Harris, Casper Van Dyne, and then and these are. They don't show uh, no Patrick Harris all that much. No, they really like like they like we skip them. They're like. 
let's promise to remain friends. And then they're like, okay. And then it's just like, right. he's here now. He's yeah. a colonel. Some, suddenly he's doing a commercial on how to destroy bugs. <laughs> uh, like the last thing they leave you with is the legless guy going, one, uh, he, what, what's he say? Something about uh, next time we meet, I'll probably be, be saluting you. Yeah. And like, that's it. Like that's where they leave him off. And then suddenly he's wearing this like badass Nazi trench coat <laughs> shooting a bug. <laughs> And he's a colonel. Yeah. Because, like, Rico says, hey, colonel. And then, like, it's like, what the? How did he make it to colonel already? I Yeah, I guess it's the telepathicness, like, is part of R&D. So they put them in charge. Like, it's again, that's more stuff they put in later on in the movie. One day we're going to watch the second one. Yeah. Because I really want you to see how <laughs> bad they went. Because the second one, like, the bugs are infecting them, making them almost zombie-like. Yeah. But not quite zombie-like. Like, you remember, I, what it always reminded me of is, you remember that part in Doom with the, like, naked chick standing there? Yeah. About like that. <laughs> that's that's about how the bugs make the people in the uh, in the second one. Okay. And it's just, re- it's like they took a, like, $300 camera from Walmart and recorded the entire thing. It's not great production value. <laughs> And they, the entire story takes place inside, like, one base. Oh. So it's not like this grand adventure where they come across a, uh, uh, you know, half-eaten base camp or whatever. And then fight, like, another big bug. <laughs> now, what, what was your, uh, like, most upsetting death? Oh, uh, Is it Dizzy? For me, it was always Dizzy. No... It wasn't her, because she kind of came off as a bitch in the beginning. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Dizzy, she was always the one where it was like, like, Rico, you're an idiot. Why aren't you going with this chick? Like, she's good looking and everything. And then you see her boobs, and you're like, Rico, why aren't you going with this chick? And then you get, like, he finally gets her, and they kill her. And, like, that always bugged me the most. And you know what? In the uh, CGI Starship Troopers movie... Um, he has these like visions of Dizzy. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure it's um, Neil Patrick Harris's character. Uh, damn it, what is his name? Uh, oh crap. I want it's something. It's like Harry or something. Uh, I know. I just <laughs> I I can't believe I just brought it up and didn't know. But anyway, it's more like him imprinting Dizzy on Rico's mind <laughs> while he's out in the middle of this desert by himself. <laughs> Which is sort of fucked up to know yeah. that, like, this guy knows exactly what I did to Dizzy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he is in Rico's mind so hard. <laughs> he knows everything. I almost said Clyde. I don't think it's Clyde either. But it's Claude. <laughs> That's probably wrong, too. I don't know. Uh, no, but, like, I didn't like her at the beginning because, like, she acts like his... She's like all friendly with him, but then as soon as he's around the girl, she wants to get with him, but she, she's being a bitch to his girlfriend. Right. And I'm like, you know, if you want to get with someone, you don't be a bitch to the person that they love. Right. Let that person be a bitch to you. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, you just don't do that. And well, it to me, it always, I always looked at it as like, she was part of the group, but she was sort of like she had sort of dis- distanced herself yeah. because she wanted Rico and uh, Denise Richards instead had yeah. him like that's how I always took it of course I was a young dumb kid who was like fast forwarding to the boobs so I think the death that was going to be the most part of Michael Irons that's character fair like he gets pulled down like he's getting his legs ripped off and instead of wanting to be legless like just do it you know Rico. I, along with your bad acting part i always thought that was one of the worst acting scenes where he's like you know what to do <laughs> <laughs> when he dogs start he starts yelling he sounds like john dimaggio oh i never thought about that <laughs> he sounds like I'm like that sounds a lot like mark <laughs> it's marcus not sam fisher <laughs> <laughs> but like he's just yelling he's like do it and then he shoots him like oh this movie really does not care who they kill <laughs> it doesn't I even another along with that bad acting part was uh, when the one uh, Spanish kid that wants to become uh, what he wanted 
Oh. Uh, he wanted to be a writer. Yeah. When he gets killed, he's like, he runs up and he starts shooting all over. And he's like, what's up? What's up? Get some! <laughs> and like, that always bothered the hell out. I don't know. I feel like they dubbed over him. Like, yeah. he was probably like just spouting out something <laughs> completely like unlegible to understand. Yeah. And they dubbed that over and it just did not match the mouth. His right. death was so messed up though. He just gets gra- his leg ripped off, thrown, and then they just <laughs> stack him. Yeah. Like, what the hell? You should really check out the old series. Back when uh, Transformers Beast Wars was on, everybody was going crazy with the CGI cartoons. And uh, they had one called Roughnecks. Uh, and, uh, like, I don't know anybody that was in it. Rico's Roughnecks. <laughs> I, I don't remember Rico being in it. All I don't remember anybody at all. I remember seeing faceless soldiers getting mauled by those aliens. That was uh, the guy who plays as uh, the sniper. I guess it was because he's the only one with a scope on his rifle. Okay. I found I realized he's the guy who plays as Gabriel on Walking Dead the Priest. Uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! I never even placed it. Yeah, I realized like that's Gabriel. <laughs> but man, there's a part on his lines that is just I guess cringy. It's when he I goes. Think I know what you're talking about. When Rico goes to saying, "This is the Roughnecks," and he's like, "Rico's Roughnecks." Like, no, you yeah. do not need to say that. It's like, man, you're really kissing ass for the new commander. <laughs> and, like, aren't he's you? just smiling at. Him. He does that same thing that the Spanish kid does at when he goes to die. He does. He starts saying, "You was like, why are you saying it? Just shoot." I, I noticed that too. It's like, if you want to yell, you don't. You don't have to say words. Well, see, and another thing it did was, like, that Xander guy. Yeah. Such a fucking asshole. He reminded me of Rob Lowe, the way he looked a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah. But then, like, at the end of the movie, I was like, oh, man, Xander died. <laughs> I actually think it would have been better if he stayed alive and Denise Richards died. <laughs> but she was the badass pilot. <sighs> she was the badass pilot, but all she was was a distraction for Rico. And then they com- that's another, they compare the uh, Carl. It's Carl. <laughs> Carl. I told you it was like Claude or something. <laughs> <laughs> Carl put the image of a moth climbing up his mom's leg to get the ferret to go like attack his mom. Yeah. So he put the vision. I thought it was a grub. A grub, okay. Yeah. So then he puts the vision of uh, Denise Richards in Rico's mind to get him to a go to go and attack the uh, well I don't honestly do you think that was bait to capture the brain bug or was he trying to help save Denise I can't remember her character's name she's just Denise Richards uh, ex Charlie Sheen right now you got me trying to figure out her name I know my bad Carmen Carmen yeah Carmen Carl Carmen and Rico okay but his first name's actually Johnny. Yeah, well, I always remember that, Johnny Rico. Yeah. That was kind of a cool name. It's kind of cliche name, too. <laughs> it's very cliche. It's like all your heroes are like Finn, Flynn, Jack. <laughs> yeah, because I, uh, I watched the... Johnny. Uh, the trailer for three, because it has all the special features, or the bonus features for the first movie. Mm-hmm. And I watched it, and it says Johnny Rico. I'm like, that is such a cliche name. It's very cliche. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, I think he just really wanted Carmen to live. He was like, she's my one of my best friends. She has to live. See, that's that's what I always thought, but I was just sitting here thinking, I was like, they made the whole grub ferret mom analogy or metaphor or whatever. Yeah. Comparison. It's like he wasn't saving a grub. Yeah. He, <laughs> that the whole point of that was to get his mom. Yeah. The mom in this situation would be the brain bug. Yeah. The grub being no, Carmen. I guess he would be trying to, it probably would because that guy blew up all those bugs and it got the brain bug to go because the guy blew and it up sh- with the tiny hand. Yeah, and then Zim yeah. captured it. Yeah, because he got it to run away. I was so glad at the end of that too. They weren't like, Zim got the bug, man. He was like, bullshit, I got the fucking bug. <laughs> he was just like, congrats, Zim. Good job. I do like a... Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how Denise lived. Like, she got stabbed to the shoulder. I, yeah. Xander got stabbed in the leg. I'm like, he has a better, and like, she still has that thing stuck inside of her, oh, and I'm man. like. Oh, man. You talk about cringy parts. 
what the one that really fucked me up when I was younger is when it would pick her up. Like, you know what I'm talking about? It picks her up and brings her to the brain bug. Yeah. Just by that thing through oh. her shoulder. And she's like, ah! I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's exactly how. I'm like, God damn it! Because it, I imagine, it'd feel like, like your weight pulling down, it'd feel like your whole collarbone's about to get ripped up. I was just trying to figure that out. I'm like, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I do like her. Like, she did kind of have a badass part with that knife. Yeah. Like, it finally shows you why they have knives. I'm like, it does make sense. Like, yeah. when are they going to use that knife against the bug? Like, I wanted them to have a yeah, scene where when, they get bit and they're, like, when stabbed. Did, when did a knife ever come in handy before you discovered the brain bug? <laughs> but I like how, right, when it goes to do it, like, you see her going down. Like, she just cuts it. I'm like, hell yeah. You know, and do you think that guy was sort of pissed off? <laughs> After he gave her the knife, <laughs> and then he just like <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because like, it just shink and he's oh, <laughs> and it looks like he's being drained of everything. And then when it goes to do her, she cuts it, and it's like you could have done that, dummy. You allowed this to happen to yourself. I do like his last line though. Where he starts saying that someone's gonna come along like me, and they're gonna kill you, and yeah. I'm like hell yeah, I'm like. And then I started, th I couldn't remember, I was like, I was like, well, at least he's going to have a quick death. But then it like shows as he's doing, like, he's not having a quick death. He's alive this entire time. I know, and he's doing that like whimpering. <laughs> I always thought it was whimpering. He's like, oh. <laughs> and then he just drops. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that would be painful. I wouldn't want that. That's like a meme though. Like, <laughs> when a girl won't stop sucking your dick. <laughs> I think I've seen that before. <laughs> I feel like I have too. It's not something new, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I realized on a part where uh, he starts to tell, talk to that guy, starts saying, uh, "Do you find me? Uh, do you think I'm a comedian?" <laughs> and everything, like he grabs that guy, so I say, "You see that armory?" Run, laughs rather than the guy goes, Ugh, and then he starts that, "Run, run!" And that <laughs> one, that one dude's just like, "Shink!" Yeah, he goes and yells, he's like, "Hey, keep pace!" And I, like, I realized when the guy pulls out that thing and he extends it, the guy, uh, the one Spanish guy, he looks back at him, and as soon as he sees the baton, he takes off running even faster. I would too. <laughs> as soon as I heard the shwink, I would have been like, "Gone!" <laughs> keep yeah. pace with me. Oh, or like, yeah, I'd be around that building. That's a scary you. sound. <laughs> It's hard to have to get hit by your drill sergeant. And <laughs> just wham. <laughs> I'm so happy they didn't kill off Jake Busey though. Oh I know. He was one of my favorite characters. I thought he was gonna be like the typical like asshole. Yeah. Even after he's like, I like you, new guy, or whatever. Yeah. He's like, I guess me and you could be buddies. <laughs> like Arika's just like, I'm on He's like, I'm on He's like, and he said, and you should be, because everyone should have a friend like me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then you got to talk about the uh, the uh, laser tag. Oh. Is that not the best game of laser tag ever? <laughs> I thought that's what laser tag was. <laughs> yeah, I like when uh, him, uh, Rico, and Diz, they go to uh, take out the ones and... <laughs> flip six, three hole. He goes and flips over and starts just taking all that. And then he goes up and picks up the guns like, thanks, but he's like, said, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> because he's still being electrocuted. Or no, it's shit. you bastard. He says, you yeah. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and he's running around just taking out everyone. I love that shit. The messed up part is when they kill that country, that farm boy off. He gets oh, shot in the shot head. shot in the head. Yeah, like the girl, the laser goes off, the girl falls down, shoots, and then it's just like... Yeah, and then she's like got to leave and stuff. And yeah. she was going into politics, so now that's <laughs> never going to happen. I feel like she didn't just have to leave. I feel like she chose to leave because that messed her up. Because like she's crying as she's walking yeah. out because she kind of became like they were all becoming friends. I, I could see that. Because like he was all ready to leave. That whipping scene, that's bullshit. What he does afterwards. Man. Like even Diz brings up, she's like, uh, she's like, you took your licks. Why are you leaving? Yeah, why quit? <laughs> you just got the shit beat out of you. You got ten whips in public, <laughs> and you're quitting. I mean, maybe that was his way of punishing himself. <laughs> but I don't think I could do that. Like, if I took the whips, I'm staying. And I realized Zim, he may be a hard ass, but he's a softy at heart. He's, he's a cool guy. <laughs> like, expect like you could tell like when he picks up the paper and he says, "Is that your signature?" When he says, uh, "Yeah," he's like doesn't look like to me yeah. it's like you're a softy you really do see yeah. him as being a leader yeah all right let's run in